How you guys doing? Great to see you guys. Hope you guys had a great summer. That was the time in Dallas. You worked and all that. Great time. It was uh, – uh, sadly, we couldn't get everybody there. Um, but it was so much fun. We worked out at SMU, had some activities in the afternoon, uh, dinners and stuff. Uh, just great to hang out with the guys, you know, at, you know, outside of the facility and get to know them on a deeper level, that sort of thing. It's always fun. Um, and we had a we had a blast, to say the least. Oh, for sure. It was, yeah, it was five on four for the most part. Um, not my fault. I was picked, I was, I was one of the first guys picked. So it was like, I was on the team of five. So it sounds like an issue for them. We kept winning. Um, yeah, it was great though. A lot of fun. Uh, mainly me, yeah, yeah, for sure. Jared, it seems like you enjoy leading these guys so much. Am I right saying that? Yeah, this is uh, this is one of I, I tell people this when they ask me like, how do you like Denver? And one of my favorite things to say is, I've never been around a team that has this many guys so close. Um, and it's not just like offensive guys. Obviously, that that was uh, mostly receivers, running backs, tight ends, that sort of thing. Um, but even defensive guys. Special teams, like we all hang out all the time, uh, whether it's with our wives, girlfriends, you know, dinners, um, you know, outside of the facility. It's just a great, great group of guys to be around. Um, and obviously, I, I, I feel like that translates to the field. And whenever you're able to, to talk about certain things um, in a way that's it's not condescending, it's coming from a place of genuine, you know, love and, and respect for one another, um, I think that goes a long way. So how do you separate friendship from competition? Yeah, I mean, look, I think the NFL is about competition. If you don't have competition, in my opinion, in each room, then, you know, what are you doing? Um, I think that's a really healthy thing. And it's one of those things, like, every year, the, the job up, upstairs, they, their job is to bring in people who they think can help the football team. And guys that are on the team, your job is to keep your job. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a fine line, but... Um, I've always hung my hat on being a really good teammate. And then whenever I'm asked to come out here on the field and uh, run, run plays, then it's to execute and score points. So that's kind of – it's very black and white, um, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, that's just kind of how I see it. But when, 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 last year when you had – I mean, you, you did, now it's your job to defend. Last year, obviously, Russ has died. Yeah, I, I was still trying to push Russ every single day. Um, obviously, he was the starter and I was the backup, but uh, that doesn't mean I can't try to go out there and, you know, outperform, you know, whoever it is. You know, that's that's kind of my goal uh, is to go and, and push the people around me, not just the quarterbacks. Um, that's just kind of always how I've, you know, looked at competition and that sort of thing. One week into camp, sure. what do you think you're doing? You pleased with yeah, it's been it's been good. Um, def definitely some things you know you got to clean up. It's part of uh, you know part of training camp. Little hiccups here and there, but overall I think it's been good. Offense has been um, operationally it's been really 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 sharp for the most part, and um, now it's just kind of fine tuning some details and you know making sure we're all on the same page and, and moving the ball. You mentioned you mentioned uh, how the locker room everyone's close. So like how. When you're on the field, you're going with three different centers because of the rotation. So how do you think that, that rotation, basically working with everybody on the offense, how does that help bring a team together as well? Yeah, for sure. I think whenever, you know, like today I was in the huddle with the ones. And, you know, I've been in the huddle with the other two groups this week as well. And it's, you know, it's like I love those guys getting a feel for me just as much as I love getting the feel from them. Um, how I operate in the huddle. Um, communicating with the centers and the offensive line on certain protections or, or run game schemes or whatever it may be. Um, there's a communication level there that I think is super healthy um, and something, no matter who's playing, I think it's really good for guys to be seeing that, especially younger guys. Uh, we had a play during walkthrough today where I stopped the whole thing to make sure we're all on the same page, um, you know, with the offensive line. So I, I think that's super healthy, um, obviously for those guys up front, but also you know, for receivers, running backs, tight ends, um, and the quarterbacks herself. So. I see, how you get along, I see how you get along with everyone. But when you started last year, we saw your edge. Is there part of you that wants to prove to the folks externally, hey, don't forget about me, I'm still here? 
Um, I, you know, I don't really get caught up in too much of that. Um, I'm very confident in who I am as a person and a player. And, uh, yeah, I've always been one to kind of let my play do the talking and um, not really worry about opinions of others and, and that sort of thing. And I care about these guys in this locker room and um, the people inside my home, at, you know, at my house. So, um, you know, outside of that, it's, uh, you know, it's all part of it. But, I mean, that, at the end of the day, that's what really matters the most. So. All right, Jared, thank you. Cool. Thanks, Thanks guys. Take care.